Good morning, guys. Wanted to, uh, I wanted to go live there for a second while Spry was being Spry and explain why. Um, part of it was I wanted to show she is she's in a new kennel this morning. So if you notice, good morning, Chris. Boy, Chris is joining in. Uh, Doug, good morning. Chris Hines, Nick Ingalls, Cody, Jay, Nicole, Carrie. Good morning to you guys. Um, what I was saying was I wanted to show you I switched Spry over into a different kennel. Um, I moved her from that little one over to the big one. And I didn't do it on purpose. I just did it. Uh, I did it because when I brought her in, I decided I was going to put her in that bigger kennel today. And I think it's interesting, and I wanted to show it to you guys because for the last 10 minutes since she's been in there, She's just been whining and fussing, and she's giving me some real deep, growly barks, and she's just mad that she's in there. You can hear it. So I wanted to show that, so I haven't fed her yet. So I'm sure she's hungry, and I want to feed her, and I want to get um, a little recall. I want to get some sit. I want to get our same routine. I'm going to do the exact same thing for feeding this morning. The difference that I'm adding in, and I didn't really plan on doing it until now, is... I'm gonna have, she's gonna have to settle into this new cow. So just by changing something very, very simple like that, putting her in a little bit bigger kennel, she is not happy. And I don't know that she's, I think what it is is she's got more room, she's got more freedom to move around, and it's new to her. So morning, Nick. Um, Jay Roberts is in, April's in, Luke's in, Dennis, Brett, Kaylee, Mike, Mark. Good morning to all you guys. So for those who are just joining in late, um, I've got Spry in a big kennel this morning, a bigger kennel, and she's just pissed about it. She's just not happy. So before I take her out to feed her, she's, I'm ready to feed her. Um, I need to feed her because I need to get going. I need to get on the road. But she's not settling in, and I'm not going to feed her until she does. So I just wanted to go live and show this because I've had a couple people, I think we've talked about the roller coaster of this training and how some of our dogs are going, I'm, I'm gaining, gaining a lot, but I think a lot of people are, we're doing the same and gaining. And then all of a sudden we're running into problems just recently. So a lot of you guys have run into problems. I've had several people that are having problems with place training. Went really well for a couple of weeks and now all of a sudden, um, Wheels are coming off the, the train. The train's coming off the track. Um, I've had people that have made progress with stuff, and then they ran into issues. And I, I want to show you this because this is an issue that we're just going to get through. I'm not going to panic about it. I'm not going to freak out about it. Um, I had a couple people that were. Uh, one of the questions was, um, put them in a pen. Wanted to get them used to. Um, Wanted to get them used to their crate, much like we're trying to do with her right now. But uh, they put them in the kennel and they put them in the pen area and they left. The, they asked me, what should I do? And I said, put them in a little penned in area, put the crate in there and leave the door open and let the pups sleep in there and go in and out as it, as it wants. I want the dog to like the kennel. I want them to choose to go into the kennel. And so the dog was barking and it happened for, and it went on for hours and whining and fussing. And it was like major panic about it and then at the very end i could just sense it in his message and then at the very end he said am i freaking out about this too early or should i just be patient my answer back was patience patience and patience so i feel like we were going really well with spry and all of a sudden she's very upset to be in this new kennel i can't freak out about it i'm going to treat this the exact same way i treated that small kennel when i first put her in the small kennel she whined a little bit she whined and she fussed and I wasn't going to pay her any attention. I wasn't going to let her out early. And I, I made her get used to it. And as she finally figured out that this isn't so bad, as soon as I settle down, I get to come out of it, she changed real quickly. So I'm going to, I'm just wanted to show you guys this because I think a lot of people um, are assuming that Spry's just doing wonderful and everything's going well. I had someone that I was talking with last night say, making comparisons kind of to what Spry is doing. I said, stop making comparisons because you're not, your dog isn't spry and spry is not your dog and you're not me and I'm not you. So I don't care what it looks like 
as we go through this thing. It's what happens in the end. That's what I'm worried about. I want to make sure everyone gets to the end. So I want to show you guys. Spry, spry the little angel isn't always an angel. And I'm not going to panic about it. I'm going to put my earplugs in if I need to and get back on the computer. Because I've got, I'm, I'm almost caught up to this week of questions. So for some of you um, ask questions, it's taking me a little bit to get back. I'm, I'm into this week's questions at least. When I say this week's, I mean this weekend. So Saturday and Sunday is the days I'm on right now. So I've got a ways to go to get caught back up, but I'm going to continue. Uh, Spry is singing to me. Spry is a terrible singer, April. I wish she would not be such a uh, aspiring vocalist. But um, so I wanted to show you this, guys. Yeah, when she's done fussing, and it might come from exhaustion. She may wear herself out and be exhausted, and and finally stop. And when she does, I'm gonna let her out. And I'm gonna put her outside. And, I'm going to let her go to the bathroom, and then I'm going to feed her, and I'm going to do recall, and I'm going to do sit, I'm going to do remote sit. And then this afternoon, I'm going to retrieve with her. So I'm going to go live again this afternoon, and we're going to retrieve. I actually made a retrieve this morning. Um, went outside, and I took the dogs for a walk. That's another reason why it's very strange that she's this fussy. Um, the only thing that's changed is I put her in a different kennel. But I took them for a walk this morning. We walked each, uh, Taylor, her, and Ellie. We went for a mile and a half walk. And I brought a bumper. There's the bumper that I had brought with me. Did that because I wanted to make some retrieves with the big dogs. I did it. The little pup was there. I threw it three times for her on the road, and she ran down, picked it up, and brought it back to me. First retrieves outside. I didn't plan on doing it, but I thought, you know what? She's done well with this. She made retrieves earlier this week. Let's do it. We'll try it. So we did it. Had some success with it. Now, if she hadn't brought it back the first time, I wouldn't have done it over. I would have went back to the warehouse where I had success last time. But she did it. So what it's telling me is, is we've got a nice little, nice little routine, a nice little um, history with the retrieving now, and she's she's there and she's making some nice retrieves. So I'm going to do that again this afternoon with the training dummy. But um, I wanted to show you guys this part because. I don't know how long it will last, and I'm not going to make you listen to it as much as I have to listen to it. So I'm going to, I'm going to go back to work. I'm going to go back to work, and I'm just going to be patient. So I'm going to take a deep breath, because trust me, the hair on the back of my neck stands up when I hear that noise. I can't stand it. You can just sense her. She's just frustrated. So she's going to have to figure that out on her own. I'm not going to be here to... Uh, pamper her. I'm not going to be here to let her out. She doesn't have to go to the bathroom. I just let her out 10 minutes ago. Brought her back in and I put her in that kennel. And all of a sudden, everything has changed. And the only thing that's different is it's a new kennel. It's a bigger kennel. She's got more freedom. She can move around a little bit. She doesn't like it. But what do I always say is whenever we find a behavior that I like, I need to be able to transfer it to a new location. So the same is true with this. I need to transfer her place train or her little kennel um, and her being calm and quiet and just settling into it. I need to transfer that to this bigger kennel. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to wait till she shuts up. And as soon as she does, like I said, it may be due to exhaustion. She might just get good morning, Missy. Um, morning, Stephanie. It, if she gets exhausted and wears herself out, she'll lay down and fall asleep. Then I'll go get her. I'll let her out, and I'll feed her, and then I'll be on our way. So, wanted to show you guys, uh, Cable, I didn't, we didn't find any sheds in Minnesota, and I was really surprised. Walked some of the nicest pieces. I've walked in a long time as far as sign, but we didn't find any this past weekend. So, we only went for about an hour and a half. Um, not that this is something to be proud of, but Sadie's vocal range could put her to shame. I'll let you keep that. I'll let you keep that ribbon, Nicole. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to wait until she settles down. As soon as she settles down, she's coming out. I'm just going to get back to work, um, and then she will uh, get fed, and then we'll be on our way. We're going to make some retrieves today. I made some notes last night. Liver drags are going to go this week. Uh, more retrieves, uh, and then I'm going to do some stuff with the older dogs. So I'm going to continue to add to my list for stuff this week. But when I got... The mouth from the south behind me here, it might be a little while till we move on. So you guys have a great rest of your morning. I'll go live when we do the actual training, hopefully soon.